Rev, Siemens and NVIDIA enabling the industrial metaverse. What are you up to? Well, we've been, we've been talking about building digital twins and building the industrial metaverse at NVIDIA for quite a while now, for the past few years, if you look back at what we've been Obviously. doing. But um, we, we're building a very important part of this, the computational stack, the AI technologies necessary to build these things, and much of the simulation technology in real time to, to power them, but it's not sufficient to really deliver what we need with digital twins. Mm -hmm. uh, digital twins in the industrial metaverse is all about actually connecting to the real world. And in that, we needed a partner. Uh, and there's no better partner to do this with than Siemens, which lives at the intersection of informational technology and operational technology uh, the expertise and the skills and the, and the assets that Siemens has in this area is a perfect complement to what we're doing. So we're really excited to be partnering with Siemens in this, in this new endeavor and expanding our partnership to deliver this grand vision to the world. Now, I had the opportunity yesterday, kind of before the big announcement, to hear yourself speaking. And with Siemens Accelerator, with you guys with Omniverse, bringing all that together. But some of the folks may not be familiar with some of the technology. Yesterday you were chatting about um, high fidelity digital twins. What, what do you mean by that? Well, um, in this new era of artificial intelligence, um, one of the things we absolutely need, a prerequisite for creating the intelligence, is a way to safely and correctly and robustly train the artificial intelligence to okay. do what they're going to do. Uh, we can think about these AIs sort of like how we think about creatures or humans. They learn. They learn from experience. They experience the world around them. Babies that are born into the world, they learn how to see. They learn mm -hmm. how to understand the difference between the different faces that they see. They learn how depth perception. They learn the physics of the world by breaking a lot of things and destroying things um, until, until they stop doing that. <laughs> I think many of us have experienced that with toddlers and, and young babies. Um, our AIs learn in exactly the same way. They, they learn through experience. We just call this experience data. Right. We feed data into the AI training systems, which produces the intelligence in, a, in the form of a neural network. Um, where are we going to get that experience? Where are we going to get the living experience for these AIs to, to learn uh, for billions of hours, billions of years? Uh, for the self-driving cars we're building or the robots that we're building, we need them to have a lived experience that's billions of miles or billions of hours of operation before we deploy them in the real world. True. Because it would be too dangerous to have them learn like our babies. We don't want them experimenting with driving on the roads to learn the physics of the road before, before they're ready. Now, in order to do that, the only real solution is to construct a digital twin of the environments that they are going to grow up in, where they're going to gain the experience. Of the real world. And it's critical that this twin the, of, the, of the real world matches the real world as closely as possible. Mm -hmm. We don't want to train our artificial intelligence in a world that doesn't match, one that's cartoony or, or lacking the right rules of physics, because what they're going to learn is incorrect bad, bad and, things. and disastrous things will happen if we move them from a cartoon world into the real world uh, where they operate. Yeah. Uh, so with Omniverse, what we've been building is a system that will allow us to first gather all of the pieces uh, that, that constitute of the world. Buildings, uh, cars, uh, furniture, all of the things that we already design using many of the tools, many of the Siemens tools um, that uh, are, contribute to building these things in the real world, we want to take these islands of information and aggregate them together into one model of the whole world where we can then, use, then train our AIs to learn how to see in and that. to learn how to operate inside these worlds. Uh, and, and actually, these same AIs will help us build more virtual worlds for them to be trained in. So we're starting this bootstrapping process here of actually creating the intelligence around us. It's going to help us automate all things. This applies to virtually all problems, but especially to industry. And, and, and whether it's the autonomous vehicle or it's the robot in the industrial factory or 
digital humans? How would you interact with things in the factory? Precisely. So, so this is where you say high fidelity. It's photorealistic. It's physics-based models. It, it's not the cartoony character. And, and it has to be fast. Real time. It, it, it's, not, it's not enough or super real time in many cases. If you can build a simulator that matches the real world and it's actually faster than, than the real world, Predict. then you can start predicting the future and you could potentially predict many futures by altering the initial state okay. and explore all of these futures to go find the one that we want. Or really don't want. Or, in the, or, okay. or don't want. But, but you, let's say you want to do uh, an optimization. You want to optimize your factory. Say, lay out the lines and, if I and do control it this way that speeds way. and feeds of, of the production line, the, the amount of energy you're pumping into various parts of it. Optimize it and find the most optimal configuration to minimize energy usage, maximize, maximize productivity, maximize safety for the employees. What you can do inside this virtual world in the digital twin is, is um, explore the whole domain of variables in this multi-dimensional function, alter everything and simulate it and see which one produces the best output. Go find the optimal one and implement that one in the real world. Instead of in the real world, implement this six months later ago, I have to start again and whatever. Yeah, okay. Exactly. But no, hey, I wish you well. Fascinating stuff. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much. I really appreciated the conversation. Thank you.